Let's start Great with pleasure. Italy. Yesterday, Bloomberg learned that actually growth will be much lower than expected. What does that mean for the budget? In Italy, you mean? Yeah, in Italy. Yes. Well, these are two parties with very different ambitions. And uh, for each of them, uh, delivering on their electoral promises is apparently much more important than the outcome of that on the economy. And there is competition between the two as to uh, who delivers most. So this is a very unsettling uh, uh, framework. They, in addition, they have the inner conviction or the alibi that uh, because Italy has not been doing well, definitely in terms of growth for many years now, uh, well, this means that all past recipes were wrong, uh, and they just uh, have to do exactly the opposite of what was done in the past. So obviously, it's a bit, uh, it's a big uh, and risky bet. So, given all of this, will the coalition hold, or are we going to see early elections? Uh, it will depend a lot, of course, on the outcome of the uh, European elections in May. Uh, it's possible that the coalition uh, holds. Uh, with uh, uh, renewed uh, balances, because the league has come up stronger relative to the Five Star Party. Uh, but, um, uh, of course, the, uh, the iceberg which could uh, cause problems to this uh, fancy um, boat is uh, next year's budgetary law. Uh, because they have put uh, in this year's budgetary law uh, already quite a bit of uh, dust uh, uh, beneath the carpet and uh, uh, they will not be able, I'm afraid, or I hope, uh, as an Italian citizen, to do the same uh, hiding uh, exercise next time. Do you think it's a dangerous game, Italy, getting so close to China because of investments? Italy obviously needs that investment. But actually, the Eurozone or the rest of the EU is much more skeptic about that relationship. Yes, uh, that relationship must, must not be uh, over-exaggerated. Uh, but uh, it can bring some marginal advantages to Italy in terms of some trade. Uh, but of course, strategically, this uh, is not going to uh, strengthen either Europe uh, or Italy in relation to China. So this is another small... Uh, uh, sign of uh, willingness to diverge relative to mainstream Europe, because some of them hate mainstream okay. Europe. Um, you're a Brussels insider. You know the Commission like few people do. Will they accept a long extension, and will they put very strong conditions attached to it? On Brexit. On Brexit. Uh, the inclination will be, in the end, to accept a long extension. Um, I hope they will make uh, the extension as long as necessary, but also insist on uh, maybe new rules of the game once uh, hopefully the UK is uh, back in, maybe through a second referendum. I mean, if we put ourselves in five or ten years' time, it would have been, it will have been great to have uh, taken on board again the UK or have it not leave. But if the UK were to start again to have the passive or negatively active position uh, within the EU that has impeded many European Union progresses in the past, then many people would regret. But are there conditions that Brussels will impose when it comes to... So we understand that they want the UK to have European elections, right, because they're coming yes. up. Yes. What about the choice of a commission president? What about, you know, extra money into the budget? How will that play out? Well, uh, much of it remains to be determined. And uh, it is on those issues that... Uh, that we'll see whether the UK eventually, if it wants to stay in, wants it uh, simply out of despair for the fog of uh, a semi-defined Brexit, 
or because uh, it really has reconsidered the thing on the merit and wants to stay in the EU genuinely. Um, how will Europe deal as a whole um, in, in a possible trade concern? So we have the U.S. and China yes. fighting it out. When they have an agreement, will President Trump go after tariffs and car makers, especially in Germany? Um, he may. Uh, and there, there are already, as you know, uh, frictions concerning um, concerning um, high tech and China, concerning 5G, etc. Uh, but if the deal with uh, China is uh, is over, is I mean, is concluded positively, uh, I think the whole uh, atmosphere and also the psychology, however difficult to forecast, of President Trump uh, may calm down a bit.